I never thought that I could write songs. I always thought, oh, I'm just a singer. I can never write songs. But I remember when I started to learn how to, because I'd been trained classically on piano. And in high school, I started to learn how to like play songs off the radio. Uh, I remember I played like, um, this is going to totally date me in the 80s, but you know, When I'm With You by Sheriff or like um, um, Richard Marx songs, um, so stuff like that. I Hold On to the Nights, I was trying to think of the name of that one. And I started to learn how to play like chords to understand how songs are written on the radio. And so, you know, I would sing along with those. My friends would always be like, oh, play that, let's sing that. And so I was like, oh, maybe now that I understand like how these chord progressions work and stuff, I could try to write a song. So I started and I had just like the plain old like one, five, four, one, or one, four, one, five, one kind of chord progressions. Of course, I didn't know it was that because I hadn't taken any music theory. So I was just doing like that simple progression and I started writing a song and you know, it was very, very basic, very basic lyrics. I just started singing random things with it to see what would happen. And you know, of course my friends were all impressed because they never wrote a song. Um, and I would play it sometimes. And I remember one time my music teacher heard that and she's like, oh wow, those chords are really simple. And I'm like, they are? Like, I didn't know, you know, I thought that I had done something really awesome. So I was kind of bummed out. And then again, I was like, oh, I probably can't write songs. I'm not very good at it. But then I went to college and I had to take music theory and I learned all the tricks of the trade of what, where you can substitute chords. So you're not just using one, four, five, and one all the time. And then I started um, playing around with stuff. And I had had an idea in my head for a song that I wanted to write. Um, and I wasn't sure how to, how to put it down. And so I started writing stuff and then this is again gonna date me. So this is like 1990, 91 when I was in college and starting out in college and Wilson Phillips was huge. And I love the three part female harmony. And so I'm like, I'm gonna write a song in three part female harmony. So I, you know, had my like, I mean, this is old school, right? I had my note paper where I was like writing the notes down physically instead of using a computer program, which I actually started using pretty soon after that. But I started writing this melody with all these three part harmonies and stuff and trying to make it into a song. And eventually I kind of gave up on the three part harmony stuff, but I was like, oh, I really like this song. And so I figured out how to play it on the piano and I ended up, you know, playing it for some friends and they really liked it. And it just kind of like sat in the background the whole time when I was in college. I didn't really bring it back out for maybe 10 years or something until I was recording like my first uh, recordings from home that I put up on mp3.com and eventually became my totally homemade CD called Overwhelmed. And it's my song Reason to Smile. And I, you know, along the way I refined the lyrics a little bit, but that's really when I started writing it in college and getting some kind of confidence around myself as a songwriter.